All right, so I recently stitched a video where somebody was asking how their hard seltzer didn't have any sugar in it, even though one of the ingredients is fermented cane sugar. So alcohol or ethanol is produced when yeast consumes sugar. In this case, it's cane sugar. This is a nice little flow diagram of how hard seltzer is made. So you have your yeast and your sugar. So the yeast consumes the sugar in the fermentation step. After the fermentation step, you're gonna have a filtering step and then getting it to the correct alcohol by volume that you want. For these seltzers, a lot of times there are flavors or fruit juice that is added after the fermentation and the filtration steps. So some brands will add uh, fruit juices for flavor and of course those might have some added sugars and carbohydrates. If those aren't being added and it's just flavors being added then you might end up with a product with zero sugars per serving. And then last step is the carbonation and packaging. So similarly beer is a fermented product as well it's just that grains are being used as the sugar source. Wine same thing except for grapes are being used as the sugar source. In those products you might have some residual sugars and carbohydrates which is why those products might be higher in sugars higher in carbohydrates and higher in calories for these seltzers most of the calories are coming from alcohol and the alcohol is seven calories per gram whereas sugar is four calories per gram i think there might be a few grams of carbohydrates in the ones that i talked about in that last video carbohydrates are also four calories per gram so that's where the calories are coming from in these hard seltzers